Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mond and today we are going to solve some self, some exercise questions 1 to 7, exercise 1F of chapter 1. Chapter name is Knowing Our Numbers of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog matchgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSE. ICC and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video, then please click the like button. Today we will learn and solve exercise 1F questions 1 to 7 of chapter 1. Chapter name is knowing, knowing our numbers and topic is estimating the numbers to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 1. Round to the nearest 10. First bit 42. When we round to the nearest 10, first look at the uh, unit place digit. Here unit place digit is 2. And 2 is less than 5. So just write down uh, the number. Uh, just write down the digit as it is in the tens place. That is 4. Here tens place digit is 4. And write down 4 as it is and write the number uh, 2 write 0 in place of 2 now 42 round to the nearest 10 is 40 now second bit 15 15 uh, here unit place digit is 5 and 5 is equal to 5 so uh, we have to add 1 to the tens place digit here tens place digit is 1 so 1 tens place digit 1 changes to 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 changes to 1 plus 1 that is 2. And this unit place digit 5 changes to 0. So this 15 rounded to the nearest 10 is 20. 20. This 2 and 0. That is 20. So 42 round, uh, round to the nearest 10 is 40. And 15 rounded to the nearest 10 is 20. Now question number third bit 94. Uh, we have to round um, this number 94 to the nearest 10. First look at the unit place digit. Here unit place digit is 4. 4 is less than 5. So just write down the tens place digit as it is. Here tens place digit is 9. So write down 9 as it is. And this 4 the unit place digit 4 changes to 0. So 94 changes to 90. This 9 write down 9 as it is because here 4 the unit unit plus digit 4 is less than 5 so just write down the tens place digit as it is and this uh, unit plus digit changes to 0 so 94 rounded to the nearest 10 is 90 fourth bit 87 here unit plus digit is 7 7 is greater than 5 so we have to add 1 to the tens place digit here tens place digit is 8 so 8 changes to 8 plus 1 and 8 plus 1 is 9 and this unit plus digit 7 changes to 0. So, 20, uh, so 87 rounded to the nearest 10 is 90. 87 rounded to the nearest 10 is 90. This 9 and this 0. So this is 90. So nine, 94 rounded to the nearest 10 is 90. And 87 rounded to the nearest 10 is 90. Now question number 50. Round to the nearest 10. 153. We have to round this number 153 to the nearest 10. First we look at the unit plus digit. Here unit plus digit is 3. And 3 is less than 5. So just... Write down the tens place digit as it is because here an unit place digit 3 is less than 5. So this 100 place digit is 1. So write down 100 place digit as it is that is 1. And this tens place digit 5 as it is. And this 3 changes to 0. So 153 rounded to the nearest 10 is 150. Now 6th bit 366. Here the unit place digit is 6. 6 is 
greater than 5. So just add 1 to the tens place digit. Here tens place digit is 6. So 6 changes to 6 plus 1 and 6 plus 1 is 7. And just write down the 10, 100 plus digit as it is that is 3. And this 6 tens place digit 6 changes to 7. And this unit place digit 6 changes to 0. So 366 rounded to the nearest 10 is 370. 6 changes to 0. This unit plus digit 6 changes to 0. So this 7 and this 0. So, three, so 153 rounded to the nearest 10 is 150. And 366 rounded to the nearest 10 is 370. Now 7th bit, 792. When you round to the nearest 10, first look at the unit place digit. Here unit place digit of 792 is 2. And 2 is less than 5. So just write down 10th place digit as it is. That is 9. 10th place digit is 9. So so 9 changes to 9 only. Write down the 10th uh, place digit 9 as it is. And this 100 place digit 7. Write down 7 as it is. And this unit place digit changes to 0. So 792 rounded to the nearest 10 is 792 rounded to the nearest 10 is 790. 790 90 is the answer. Now 8th bit. 478. We have to round this number 478 to the nearest 10. When we round any number to the nearest 10, first look at the unit place digit. Here unit place digit is 8 and 8 is greater than 5. So just add 1 to the tens place digit that is 7 changes to 7 plus 1. That is 8 and this 100 plus digit write down 100 plus digit as it is. And this unit place digit 8 changes to 0. So 478 rounded to the nearest 10 is 480. This 8, this 8 and this 0. So, for, so 792 rounded to the nearest 10 is 790 and 478 rounded to the nearest 10 is 480. Now 9th bit. Round to the nearest 10. 975. We have to round it, this number 975 to the nearest 10. When we rounded any number to the nearest 10, first we look at the unit place digit. Here unit press digit of 975 is 5 which is equal to 5. So just add 1 to the tens place digit. Here tens place digit is 7. 7 changes to 7 plus 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. And this 100 plus digit 9. Write down 9 as it is. And this unit press digit 5 changes to 0. Now 975 rounded to the nearest 10 is this 9. Write down 9 as it is and this 7 changes to 8, 8 and this 5 changes to 0. Now 975 rounded to the nearest 10 is 980. Now 10th bit, one, 1493. We have to round it this number 1493 to the nearest 10. First we look at the unit plus digit. Here unit plus digit is 3 which is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the tens plus digit. Just write down tens plus digit as it is. And 100 plus digit. Write down 100 plus digit as it is. And 1000 plus digit as it is. Now 1 changes 1493. Rounded to the nearest 10 will be 1. Write down 1 as it is. 4. Then 9. And this unit plus digit 3 changes to 0. Now 1493 rounded to the nearest 10 is 1490. So 975 rounded to the nearest 10 is 980. And 1493 rounded to the nearest 10 is 1490. Now 11th bit, 8799. 
we have to rounded this number 8799 to the nearest 10 when we rounded any number to the nearest 10 first look at the unit place digit here unit place digit is 9 and 9 is greater than 5 so just add 1 to the tens place digit here 9 tens place digit is 9 9 changes to 9 plus 1 and 9 plus 1 is 10 and this 100 plus digit 7 changes to this carry over 1 add with this 100 plus digit now 7 changes to 7 changes to 8 7 plus 1 is 8 and this 100 plus digit write down 100 plus uh, 1000 plus digit 8 as it is and this unit plus digit 9 changes to 0 now 8799 rounded to the nearest 10 will be this 8 as it is write down 8 then 7 changes to 8 that is 7 plus 1 is 8 and this 9 changes to 10 but here 1 carry over 1 add with the 100 plus digit 7 so it is 8 now this 9 we have to write down this 0 and this 9 unit plus digit 9 changes to 0 now 8799 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 8800 now 12th bit 6, 6932 when we rounded any number to the nearest 10 first look at the unit place digit here unit place digit is 2 2 is less than 5 so don't add 1 to the tens place digit just write down 1000 plus digit as it is 6 and this 9 100 plus digit write down 100 plus digit as it is and this tens place digit write down tens place digit as it is that is 3 and this unit place digit 2 changes to 0. So 6932 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 6930. So 8799 rounded to the nearest 10 is 8800 and 6932 rounded to the nearest 10 is 6930. Now question number 2, rounding up to the nearest 10, what numbers could be estimated as first bit is 60. We have to find the numbers, which numbers rounded up to the nearest 10, we get 60. So if the num, if unit place digit is less than 5, then that number rounded to the nearest 60. That is 61, unit place digit if it is 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 60, this is 61, 62, 63 64 now this 61 61 rounded to the nearest 10 will be this one is less than 5 so 61 rounded to nearest 10 is 60 62 rounded to nearest 10 is 60 and 63 here 3 also less than 5 so 63 rounded to nearest 10 is 60 64 rounded to nearest 10 is 60 now if the unit place digit is more than 5 that is we have to add 1 to the tens place digit now if 55 that is this 5 here 5 is equal to 5 that is we have to add 1 to this tens place digit this 5 changes to 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 is 6 6 and this 5 unit place digit 5 changes to 0 this 5 is more than 1 that is 5 plus 1 is 6 and this 5 unit plus digit 5 changes to 0 so 55 rounded to nearest 10 is 60 so it will be 55 then 56 and 57 58 and 59 here 56 6 is more than 5 so we have to add 1 to the tens place digit this 5 changes to 5 plus 1 that is 6 and this 6 changes to 0 that is 56 rounded to nearest 10 is 60 and 57 rounded to nearest 10 will be 60 because 7 is more than 5 and 58 rounded to nearest 10 will be 60 because 8 is more than 5 and 59 also rounded to nearest 10 is 60 because 9 is more than 5 now second bit 40 the number is 40 we have to find the numbers which are rounded to the nearest 10 the number will be 40 now if the unit digit is less than 5 and more than 5 
that is um, less than 5 means 61 if unit digit is 1 2 3 4 that is 40 41 42 43 unit press digit 44 1 2 3 4 unit press digit is 1 2 3 4 now 41 rounded to nearest 10 is 40 42 also rounded to nearest 10 will be 40 because 2 is less than 5 and 43 rounded to nearest 10 is 40 because 3 is less than 5 and 44 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 40 because 4 is less than 5 now 35 if if the unit press digit is 5 then we have to add 1 to the tens press digit that is 35 here unit press digit is 5 that is equal to 5 and we have to add 1 to this tens press digit that is 3 changes to 3 plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 is 4 and this 5 changes to 0 that is 35 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40. Thirty-five and this thirty-six. Here six is more than five, so we have to add one to this three. Three plus one is four, and six changes to zero. Forty and thirty-seven rounded to nearest ten will be forty because seven is more than five, and thirty-eight because eight is more than five, and thirty-nine because nine is more than five. So we have to add one to this three. 3 plus 1 is 4 and this 9 changes to 0. So the numbers are 41, 42, 43, 44 and 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. These are the numbers rounded to the nearest 10. We get 40. Now third bit 130. We have to find the numbers which uh, numbers rounded up to the nearest 10. The number will be 130. If the unit press digit, if uh, any number rounded to, to the nearest 10, if the unit press digit is more than 5, more than 5 or less than 5. So here 30. Here unit press digit is 0 and uh, tens press digit is 3. So if we uh, right uh, unit press digit is 1 that is 31 1 10 unit press digit 2 3 and 4 the numbers are 131 132 unit press digit 2 133 134 and if, if the unit press digit is more than 5 that is if the if it is more than 5 then we have to add 1 to the tens press digit if the tens press digit is 2 and unit press digit is 5 that is 125 125 rounded to the nearest 10 will be this 5 is more than 5 and this tens press digit 2 changes to 2 plus 1 that is 3 and this 5 changes to 0 so it will be 130 so the number is 125. 125 then 126. Here uh, unit press digit is 6. So we have to add 1 to this tens press digit. That is 2 changes to 3. And this 6 changes to 0. That is 130. 130. Then 127 also rounded to the nearest 10 will be 130 because 7 is more than 5, so we have to add 1 to this uh, tens plus digit 2. Now 128 is rounded to the nearest 10 will be 130 because 8 is more than 5. And 129 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 130 because 9 is more than 5. So we have to add 1 to this tens plus digit 2. So the numbers are 131, 132. 133, 134, 125, 126, 127, 128 and 129. Rounded to the nearest 10 will be 130. Now fourth bit. 780. Here if unit plus digit is less than 5 and more than 5 then 
this um, the number will be 80 here uh, tens place digit is 8 and unit place digit is 0, 0. so the number will be the unit place digit is 1 2 3 and 4 and the numbers are 700 81 unit place digit is 1 1 is less than 5 so we have to don't add 1 to this tens place digit just write down 8 as it is and this 1 changes to 0 that is 781 rounded to the nearest ten will be 780 now 782 because 2 is less than 5 782 rounded to the nearest ten will be 780 now 783 784 and this 4 is less than 5 so 784 rounded to the nearest ten will be 780 now if the unit place digit is more than 5 that is 7 uh, uh, tens place digit will be 7 then that will be 7 changes to 7 plus 1 so it will be 775 the number is 775 because 5 is less, equal to 5 and this 7 changes to 7 plus 1 We have to add one to this tens place digit. That is seven changes to seven plus one. That is eight, and this five unit place digit five changes to zero. Now seven hundred seventy five rounded to the nearest ten will be seven hundred eighty. Now seven hundred seventy six also number. Then seven hundred seventy seven, seven hundred seventy eight, and seven hundred seventy nine. These are the numbers rounded to the nearest ten will be seven hundred eighty. Question number fifty. The number is sixteen hundred. We have to find the numbers which rounded uh, rounding up to the nearest ten. The number will be sixteen hundred. If <coughs> if the unit place digit is less than five, then here tens place digit is zero and unit place digit is one. If the unit place digit is less than five, then the number rounded. So the nearest ten will be two will be sixteen hundred. That is sixteen hundred one. It is one. Unit digit one less than five. That will be uh, rounded to the nearest ten will be sixteen hundred. Then sixteen hundred two. One thousand six hundred two. Then one thousand six hundred three. One thousand six hundred four. And if we Uh, use the number one thousand six hundred five. Here unit place digit is five, which is equal to five. So we have to add one here in tens place digit. It will be one thousand six hundred ten. So it will be incorrect. So don't write this number. Just up to one thousand six hundred four. Then uh, here uh, if we use five. In the unit place digit that is one thousand ninety five. Then ninety five. Then it will be five changes and uh, equal to five. So you have to add one in ten place digit. It will be nine plus one. That is ten. So we have to add one to this hundred place digit. That is five plus one is six. Now it will. Uh, now it will be one thousand five hundred ninety-five rounded to the nearest ten will be sixteen hundred. So next number will be one thousand five hundred ninety-six, one thousand five hundred ninety-seven, one thousand five hundred ninety-eight, one thousand five hundred ninety-nine. These are the numbers rounding up to the nearest ten. Will be sixteen hundred. These are the numbers. Now sixth bit, four thousand. Here unit place digit is zero, tens place also zero, and hundred place also zero. So the numbers that rounded up to the nearest ten will be four thousand. Will be four thousand one. Unit place digit must be less than five. Then it will be one four thousand two. Four thousand 
थ्री फोर थाउजेंड फोर इफ यू यूज फोर थाउजेंड फाइव देन हियर यूनिट प्लस डिजिट इज फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव सो यू हैव टू एड वन दिस टेंस प्लस डिजिट दैट विल बी जीरो चेंजेस टू वन देन इट विल बी फोर थाउजेंड टेन हियर फोर थाउजेंड इज गिवन सो दिस इज इनकरेक्ट now if we even use 5 in the tens place digit that is 4005 4000 here also 9 9 here 9 here this 3 this unit place digit is 5 which is equal to 5 so we have to add 1 to this tens place digit now it is 9 plus 1 is 10 and then carry over 1 add to this 100 place digit that is 9 plus 1 is 100 9 plus 1 is 10 then this carry over 1 in the 100 place digit add with a 1000 plus digit that is 3 plus 1 means 4 now 3995 rounded up to the nearest ten will be 4000 so it is correct number Now three thousand nine hundred ninety six. Here six is more than five. Three thousand nine hundred ninety seven. Three thousand nine hundred ninety eight. Three thousand nine hundred ninety nine. These are the numbers rounded up to the nearest ten. Will be four thousand because the unit place digit is less than five. That is one, two, three, and four. And unit place digit is more than five. That is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here unit place digit is one, two, three, four. And here five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have to add one to this tens place digit. That is nine plus one is ten. Then this one carry over add with the hundred place digit. Now the hundred place digit is ten. Now this one carry over one. Add with the thousand plus digit, it will be three plus one, that is four. So these these are the numbers rounded up to the nearest ten will be four thousand. Now question number three, rounding up each of the following numbers to the nearest hundred. The number is first bit is four hundred sixty-three. We have to round up this number four hundred sixty-three to the nearest hundred. So when we uh, rounded up any number to the nearest hundred, first look at the tens place digit. Your tens place digit is six. Six is more than five, so we have to add one to the tens place digit. Your tens place digit is four. Four changes to four plus one, and this tens place digit six changes to zero, and the unit place digit three changes to zero. So four hundred sixty-three. Rounded up to the nearest ten, nearest hundred will be this four changes to four plus one that is five, is five, and this six changes to zero, zero, and this three changes to zero. Now four hundred sixty three rounded up to the nearest hundred will be five hundred. Now second bit seven hundred ninety five. We have to rounded up this number seven hundred ninety five to the nearest hundred. First look at the Unit uh, tens place digit. Your tens place digit is nine, and nine is more than five. So we have to add one to the hundred uh, place digit. Your hundred place digit is seven. Seven is changes to seven plus one. That is ten. Uh, that is eight. Seven plus one is eight, and this tens place digit nine changes to zero, and the unit place digit five changes to zero. Now seven hundred ninety five. Rounded up to the nearest hundred will be this seven changes to eight, eight, and this nine changes to zero, zero, this five changes to zero, zero. Now seven hundred ninety-five rounded up to the nearest hundred will be eight hundred. So four hundred sixty-three rounded up to the nearest hundred is five hundred, and seven hundred ninety-five rounded up to the nearest hundred is eight hundred. Now third bit, one thousand three hundred forty-eight. We have to rounding up this number one thousand three hundred forty-eight to the nearest hundred. 
So when we rounding up any number to the nearest hundred, first look at the tens place digit. So tens place digit is four, which is less than five. So don't add one to the hundred place digit. Just write down the hundred place digit as it is. That is three. Just write down three and thousand place digit one. Just write down thousand place digit one. This one and this three and this four changes to zero. This four tens place digit. Just write down tens place digit zero. That is four changes to zero and unit place digit. Eight changes to zero. Now one thousand three hundred forty-eight rounded up to the nearest hundred will be one thousand three hundred. Now fourth week, two uh, thousand six hundred eighty-seven. We have to rounded up this number two thousand six hundred eighty-seven to the nearest hundred. When we rounded up any number to the nearest hundred, look at the tens place digit. Here tens place digit is eight. Eight is more than five. So we have to add one to the hundred plus digit. Here hundred plus digit is six. Six changes to six plus one. And thousand plus digit. Just write down thousand plus digit as it is. And this tens plus digit eight changes to zero. And unit plus digit seven changes to zero. So two thousand six hundred eighty-seven rounded up to the nearest hundred will be this two. Write down two. And this six. Changes to seven. Six plus one is seven, and this eight changes to zero. Seven changes to zero. Now it is the answer. Now two thousand six hundred eighty-seven rounded up to the nearest hundred will be two thousand seven hundred, and one thousand three hundred forty-eight rounded up to the nearest hundred is one thousand three hundred. So one thousand three hundred forty-eight rounded up to the nearest hundred is one thousand three hundred. And two thousand six hundred eighty-seven rounded up to the nearest hundred is two thousand seven hundred. Now question number three B, seven thousand seven hundred sixty-five. We have to rounded up this number seven thousand seven hundred sixty-five to the nearest hundred. When we rounded up any number to the nearest hundred, look at the tens place digit. Your tens place digit of seven thousand seven hundred sixty-five is six. Which is more than five, so uh, so you have to add one to the hundred plus digit. Here hundred plus digit is seven. So this hundred plus digit seven changes to seven plus one, that is eight. And thousand write down thousand plus digit as it is, that is seven. It's seven, and this tens plus digit six changes to zero. And this five unit plus digit five changes to zero. Now seven thousand seven hundred sixty-five rounded up to the nearest hundred will be this seven, seven, this seven, seven only. This seven changes to eight, eight, and this six changes to zero, zero, and this five changes to zero. Now seven thousand seven hundred sixty-five rounded up to the nearest hundred will be seven thousand eight hundred. Now sixth bit. Twenty-eight thousand four hundred eighty-one. When we rounded up uh, this number, twenty-eight thousand four hundred eighty-one to the nearest hundred. Look, uh, look at the eight pl uh, tens place digit. Your tens place digit is eight, which is more than five. So we have to add one to the hundred place digit. Your hundred place digit is four. So four changes to four plus one, and four plus one is five. And write down just ten thousand place digit. As it is, that is two, and this thousand plus digit, as it is, that is eight, and this hundred plus digit four changes to five, and tens plus digit eight changes to zero, and the unit plus digit one changes to zero. Now twenty-eight thousand four hundred eighty-one rounded up to the nearest hundred will be twenty-eight thousand five hundred. So seven thousand seven hundred sixty-five rounded up to the nearest hundred is seven thousand eight hundred, and twenty-eight thousand four hundred eighty-one rounded up to the nearest hundred is twenty-eight thousand five hundred. Now seventh week six thousand eight. We have to rounded up this number six thousand eight to the nearest hundred. 
when you round it up any number to the nearest 100 look at the tens place digit here tens place digit is 0 so this 0 change and here 0 which is more which is less than 5 so don't add 1 to the 100 plus digit just write down 100 plus digit as it is that is 0 changes to just write down 0 as it is and 1000 plus digit 6 just write down 6 only and this 10 plus digit 0 changes to 0 and unit plus digit 8 changes to 0 now 6008 rounded up to the nearest 100 will be 6 this 6 and this 0 0 and this 0 0 and the unit plus digit 8 changes to 0 now it is 6000 so 6008 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 6000 now 7 8 bit 60705 uh, we have to round up this number to the nearest 100 so when we round up this number to the nearest 100 look at the tens place digit here tens place digit is 0 which is less than 5 so don't add 1 to the 100 plus digit just write down 7 as it is and 1000 plus digit 0 just write down 0 only and 10000 plus value digit 6 just write down 6 only and this tens plus digit 0 changes to 0 and this unit plus digit 5 changes to 0 now 60705 rounded up to the nearest 100 will be this 6 6 0 0 this 7 just write down 7 only and this 0 0 and this 5 changes to 0 now it is 60700 so 6008 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 6000 and 60705 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 60000 60700 Now question number 4. Rounding up to the nearest 100, what numbers can be estimated as first bit is 600? We have to found the numbers, the numbers uh, which rounded up to the nearest 100, the number will be 600. And then uh, when we rounded up any number to the nearest 100, first look at the tens place digit. So tens place digit will be less than 5 or more than 5 if it is less than 5 just write down 100 plus digit as it is but if the tens plus digit is more than 5 just add 1 to the 100 plus digit so here 600 so, so the numbers if we use 1 up to 1 to 4 that is which is more less than 5 in the tens plus digit so it will be 610 600 20, 630, 640. Now this 4 is less than 5, so this 4 changes to 0. So it will be 640 rounded up to the nearest 100 will be 600. Now if we use 5, more than 5, in the tens place digit then it will be 90 and this 9 is more than 5 so we have to add 1 to the 100 place digit that is 5 here 5 changes to 5 plus 1 that is 6 and this 9 changes to 0 and this unit place digit 0 is 0 so 590 591 592 
So these are the numbers that is 610, 620, 630, 640, 641, 642 up to 649, then 590, 591, 591, 592 up to 599. These are the numbers rounding up to the nearest hundred. The estimated will, the number will be 600. Now second bit 900. We have to find the numbers which numbers rounded up to the nearest 100 the numbers will be estimated as 900 now if we uh, use less than five digits in the tens place digit we have to we have to um, just write down the hundred plus digit as it is and if we uh, use more than five digit more than five uh, in the tens place digit we have to add one to the hundred plus digit So the numbers will be 910, 911, 912, 929 and the numbers will be 931 930 up to 939 then 940 up to 949 Now 800 so these are the numbers rounding up to the nearest 100 the numbers can be estimated as 900 now third bit 1300 we have to round it up this number 13 uh, we have to find the numbers which numbers rounded up to the nearest 100 the numbers estimated as 1300 rounding up to the 1300 so the numbers if we use Mm, less than digit less than four less than five and more than five in the tens place digit if we use mm, less than digit less than five in the tens place digit we, we don't add one to the hundred place digit just write down this 13 110 1340 up to 40 then 1300 10 11 20 30 1340 then 1341 up to 1349 now 1350 if we use 5 in the tens place digit then it will be we have to add 1 to the 100 plus digit so here if we use 5 in tens place digit 
we have to add 1 that is 1250 this is the number 1250 then 1251 up to 1299 and these are the numbers rounded up to the nearest 100 uh, the number will be 1300 now fourth bit 6500 here tens place digit is 0 unit place digit is 0 if we use uh, gym, if we use more less than digit less than 5 in the tens place digit we don't add 1 to the 100 place digit so the numbers will be 6500 then up to 6500 6500 49. Now, if we use 5 uh, digit 5 in the tens place digit, we have to add 1 to the 100 place digit. So, the numbers will be 6,400, 6, 6, 6, up to 6,999. 6, so these are the numbers rounded up to the nearest 100. The numbers will be 6,500. Now question number 5th bit. 20,000. We have to find the numbers which numbers rounded up to the nearest hundred the numbers will be twenty thousand if we use uh, when we rounded up any number to the nearest hundred we have to look at the tens place digit the tens place digit is zero unit place digit is zero so the numbers if we use uh, digit less than five in the tens place digit just write down the hundred place digit as it is we don't add one to the hundred place digit so the numbers will be twenty thousand 20,001 to 20,049. Then if we use 5, digit more than 5 in the tens place digit, then we have to add 1 to the 100 place digit. So if we use 10,000 here, uh, in tens place digit if we use 5 50 then this uh, 100 plus digit we have to add 1 to the 100 plus digit that is 9 plus 1 is 10 and this carry over 1 with 10 with 1000 plus digit we have to add 1 with 1000 plus then this 10000 plus digit so the number is 19950 then it will be to, uh, rounded up to the nearest 100 will be 20000 now 19,951 up to 19,999 Here 10th place digit is 9 which is more than 5 so we have to add 1 and this 10th place digit and unit place digit changes to 0 so the numbers uh, rounded up to the nearest hundred the num uh, so the numbers which rounded up to the nearest hundred estimated to twenty thousand will be twenty thousand one and these are the numbers twenty thousand one up to twenty thousand forty nine and nineteen thousand nine hundred fifty to nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine these are the numbers rounded up to the nearest hundred will be twenty thousand Now question number 5. Round each of the following numbers to the nearest thousand. First bit 3939. When we rounded up any number to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the 100 plus digit. Here 100 plus digit is 9, which is more than 5. So we have to add 1 to the thousand plus digit. Here 1000 plus digit is 3. 3 changes to 3 plus 1. And 3 plus 1 is 4. 
and this tens to the hundred plus digit nine changes to zero, and this tens plus digit three changes to zero, and unit plus digit nine changes to zero. Now three thousand nine hundred thirty nine rounded up to the nearest thousand digit. This three changes to four, nine changes to zero. This three changes to zero. Nine changes to zero. Now it is four thousand. So three thousand nine hundred thirty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is four thousand. Now second bit, the six thousand one hundred thirty-nine. When we rounded up this number to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus digit. Here hundred plus digit is one, which is less than five. So don't add one to the thousand plus digit. Just write down thousand plus digit as it is. And this hundred plus digit one changes to zero, and tens plus digit three changes to zero, and this unit plus digit nine changes to zero. So six thousand one hundred thirty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand will be this six six one changes to zero, three changes to zero, nine changes to zero. Now six thousand one hundred thirty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is six thousand. So three thousand nine hundred thirty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is four thousand, and six thousand one hundred thirty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is six thousand. Now question number third bit five thousand seven hundred eighty-nine. We have to rounded up this number five thousand seven hundred eighty-nine to the nearest thousand. When we rounded up any number to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus digit. Here, hundred plus digit is seven, and seven is more than five. So we have to add one to the thousand plus digit. Here, thousand plus digit is five. Five changes to five plus one, which is equal to six. And this hundred plus digit seven changes to zero, and tens plus digit eight changes to zero, and unit plus digit nine changes to zero. Now, five thousand seven hundred eighty-nine. Rounded up to the nearest thousand will be six. This six and this zero, zero, zero. That is six thousand. So five thousand seven hundred eighty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is six thousand. Now fourth bit, nine thousand eight hundred ninety-three. When we rounded up this number, nine thousand eight hundred ninety-three to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus digit. Here hundred plus digit is eight. Eight is more than five, so just add one to the thousand thousand plus digit. Here thousand plus digit is nine. Nine changes to nine plus one, and nine plus one is ten. And this ten hundred plus digit eight changes to zero, and this tens plus digit nine changes to zero, and unit plus digit three changes to zero. Now nine thousand eight hundred ninety three rounded up to the nearest thousand is this nine changes to ten. Nine plus one ten. And this eight changes to zero. Nine changes to zero. Three changes to zero. This is ten thousand. So five thousand seven hundred eighty-nine rounded up to the nearest uh, thousand is six thousand, and nine thousand eight hundred ninety-three rounded up to the nearest thousand is ten thousand. Now question number fifty. Uh, fifth bit, two thousand two hundred thirty-five. We have to round up this number two thousand two hundred thirty-five to the nearest thousand. When we round up any number to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus digit. Here, hundred plus digit is two, and two is less than five. So don't add one to the thousand plus digit. Just write down two thousand plus digit as it is, and this hundred plus digit two changes to zero. And this tens plus digit three changes to zero, and unit plus digit five changes to zero. Now this two thousand two hundred thirty-five rounded up to the nearest thousand is two, this two, and this zero, zero, zero. Now two thousand two hundred thirty-five rounded up to the nearest thousand is two thousand. Now sixth bit, forty thousand three hundred eighty-six. When we rounded up this number forty thousand three hundred eighty-six to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus digit. Here, hundred plus digit is three, and three is less than five. 
so don't add one to the thousand plus digit just write down thousand plus digit as it is zero just zero only and this uh, ten thousand plus digit four just write down four only and this hundred plus digit three changes to zero and ten plus digit eight changes to zero six changes to zero so forty thousand three hundred eighty six rounded off to the nearest thousand is four this four this zero this three changes to zero eight changes to zero six changes to zero forty thousand now two thousand two hundred thirty five rounded off to the nearest thousand is two thousand and forty thousand three hundred eighty six rounded off to the nearest thousand is forty thousand Now question number seventh bit eighteen thousand five hundred eighty nine. We have to round it off this number eighteen thousand five hundred eighty nine to the nearest thousand. When we round it off any number to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus digit. Here hundred plus digit is five. Hundred plus digit five, so five is equal to five. So don't add. We have to add one to the thousand plus digit. Here thousand plus digit is eight. So eight changes to eight plus one. Eight plus one is nine. And this thousand plus ten thousand plus digit. Just write down ten thousand plus digit as it is. And this hundred plus digit five changes to zero. Ten plus digit eight changes to zero. And unit plus digit nine changes to zero. So eighteen thousand five hundred eighty-nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is one. And this eight changes to nine. Five changes to zero. This eight changes to zero. Nine changes to zero. So eighteen thousand five hundred eighty-nine rounded off to the nearest thousand is nineteen thousand. Now eight three. Three lakh eighteen thousand five hundred. When we rounded off this number three lakh eighteen thousand five hundred to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus digit. Here hundred plus digit is five. And five is equal to five. So we have to add one to the thousand plus digit. Here thousand plus digit is eight. Eight changes to eight plus one. Eight plus one is nine. And this thousand plus digit one changes to one only. Just write down one only. And this ten thousand um, one lakh plus value digit three changes to three only. Just write down three only. And this hundred plus digit five changes to zero. Tens plus digit zero changes to zero, and unit plus digit zero is zero only. So three lakh eighteen thousand five hundred rounded off to the nearest thousand is three. Just write down three only. This one, one only. Thousand plus mm, this eight thousand plus digit eight changes to nine, and this five changes to zero. Unit plus digit zero. And ten plus digit zero. Now three lakh eighteen thousand five hundred rounded up to the nearest thousand is three lakh nineteen thousand. Now eighteen thousand five hundred eighty nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand and three lakh eighteen thousand five hundred rounded up to the nearest thousand is three lakh nineteen thousand. Now question number ninth bit two lakh forty five thousand two lakh forty five thousand three hundred seventy six. We have to round it up this number two lakh forty five thousand three hundred seventy six to the nearest thousand. When we round it up any number to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus value digit. Here hundred plus value digit is three, and three is less than five. So don't add one to the thousand plus value digit. Just write down thousand plus di um, value digit as it is and Ten thousand plus value digit as it is, and one lakh plus value digit as it is. Now two, just two only. This four, ten thousand plus value digit four only. This five thousand plus value digit is five only. This three hundred plus value digit changes to zero. Ten plus digit changes to zero, and this one plus digit changes to zero. Now two lakh forty five thousand three hundred seventy six. Rounded up to the nearest thousand is 
टू लाख टू लाख फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड टू लाख फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड दिस इज द आंसर नाउ टेंथ बीट फिफ्टीन लाख सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एटी वी हैव टू राउंडेड ऑफ दिस नंबर फिफ्टीन लाख सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एटी टू द नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड when you rounded up any number to the nearest thousand first look at the hundred plus value digit here hundred plus value digit is six six is greater than five so don't add one to the thousand plus value digit so we have to now we have to add one to the thousand plus value digit now this thousand plus value digit five changes to five plus one and five plus one is six and this ten thousand plus value digit six six only this uh, 15 lakh 15 lakh only and this 100 plus value digit 6 changes to 0 tens plus digit 8 changes to 0 and unit plus digit 0 is 0 now 15 lakh 65680 rounded up to the nearest thousand is 15 lakh this 5 6 this 6 This five changes to six only. Five plus one six, and this six zero zero zero. Now two lakh forty five thousand three hundred seventy six rounded up to the nearest thousand is two lakh forty five thousand, and fifteen lakh sixty five thousand six hundred eighty rounded up to the nearest thousand is fifteen lakh sixty six thousand. Question number six. What number? What number will be rounded to the near each of the following numbers to the nearest thousand? Will be eleven thousand. We have to find the numbers that numbers will be rounded up to the nearest thousand. The number will be eleven thousand. So if we use when we rounded up to the nearest thousand, we have to first look at the hundred plus value digit. If we use in hundred plus value digit that is less than five digit, then uh, We have we don't add to the thousand plus value digit. So if we use eleven, the if we use the numbers eleven thousand, eleven thousand one up to eleven thousand four hundred ninety nine. That is here hundred uh, plus value digit is zero, which is less than five. So don't add one to the Thousand plus value digit. Just write down thousand plus value digit one, and this hundred plus tens plus unit plus changes to zero. So it will be rounded up to the nearest thousand is eleven thousand. And here hundred uh, plus value digit is four, which is less than five. So don't add one to the thousand plus value digit. This uh, this is eleven thousand, and this four, nine and nine changes to zero. That is four changes to zero, nine changes to zero, and nine changes to zero. That will be Eleven thousand. Now, if we use the number five, more, less than more than five in the hundred plus value digit, that is five hundred. Five hundred. Then uh, thousand plus value digit, we have to add one. So this thousand plus value digit zero, zero plus one is one. So in ten thousand five hundred, rounded up to the nearest thousand will be eleven thousand. This hundred plus value digit five changes to zero. So this thousand plus value digit zero changes to one. So this ten thousand five hundred, rounded up to the nearest thousand will be eleven thousand. Now ten thousand five hundred one, and this ten thousand five hundred ninety nine. And here, hundred uh, plus value digit five, five changes to um, five changes to zero, nine changes to zero, nine changes to zero, and this zero changes to zero plus one. That will be ten thousand five hundred ninety nine rounded up to the nearest thousand is eleven thousand. These are the numbers rounded up to the nearest thousand. The numbers will be eleven thousand. Now second bit twenty thousand. Now the num find we have to find the numbers 
the numbers rounded up to the nearest thousand the numbers will be 20000 so the numbers if we use uh, uh, less than digits less than 5 less than 5 in the 100 plus value digit that is 20000 we don't add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit so the numbers will be 20000 1 up to 20000 20,499 here 4 is less than 5 so we have to add we don't add 1 to the 1000 so just write down 0 only and this 4 and 9 and 9 changes to 0 that is 4 changes to 0 so 20,499 rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 20,000 now if we use 5 more than 5 digits in the 100 plus value digit now this if we use 5 in 100 plus value digit so now we have to add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit here 9 9 changes to 9 plus 1 9 plus 1 is 10 so we have to add 1 to the 10,000 plus value digit so this 19,500 rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 19 plus 1 is 20 and this 5 100 plus value digit 5 changes to 0 so 19,500 rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 20,000 now 19,501 up to 19,599 these are the numbers rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 20,000 Now question number 6, third bit, 4000. We have to find the numbers. The numbers will be rounded to the nearest 1000. Will, the numbers will be 4000. Now if we, if we rounded up any number to the nearest 1000, we have to we have to first look at the 100 plus value digit. Here 100 plus value digit is 0. So if we use less than, um, less than 5 digit in the 100 plus value digit, then we don't add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit. So the numbers will be 4000, 1 up to 4499. Now here 100 plus value digit is 4 which is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit. Just write down 1000 plus value digit 4 as it is. And this 4 changes to 0, 9 changes to 0 and 9 changes to 0. Now 4,499 rounded up to the nearest 1,000 will be 4,000. Now if we use more than digits, uh, more than 5 in the 100 plus value digit, we have to add 1 to the 1,000 plus value digit. Now this 5, 100 plus value digit is 5 which is more than that is equal to 5. So we have to add 1 to the 1,000 plus value digit. Here this 1,000 plus value digit 3 changes to 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 so this 3500 rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 3 plus 1 is 4 and this 5 changes to 0 so it is 4000 which is 4000 now 3501 3501 up to 3599 3599 rounded up to the nearest 1000 is 4000 now these are the numbers rounded up to the nearest 1000, the numbers will be 4000. Now fourth bit, 68000, we have to find the numbers, the numbers, uh, which that numbers rounded up to the nearest 1000, the numbers will be 68000. If we use mm, less uh, digits less than 5 in the 100 plus value digit, we don't add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit. So here if we use uh, 68,001 up to 68,499 here 100 plus value digit is 4 which is less than 5 so don't add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit here 68,499 rounded up to the nearest 1000 is 68,000 now if we use 5 digit 5 in the 100 plus value digit then we have to add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit so if we use 5 in 100 plus value digit then this 7 uh, this will be 7 7 
and this is 6. Here, uh, 100 plus value digit is 5, which is more than 5. So, we have to add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit. Here, 7 changes to 7 plus 1, that is 8. So, 67,500 rounded off to the nearest 1000 will be 68,000. Now, 67,501, it will be 67,599. Now 67,599 rounded up to the nearest thousand will be 68,000. Now these are the numbers. Uh, that numbers rounded up to the nearest thousand is 68,000. Now question number 7. Give the estimation to the nearest 10, 100 and thousand. First bit 792. When we rounded up this number 792 to the nearest 10, we have to first look at the ten, uh, unit plus value digit. Here unit plus value digit is 2. 2 is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the tens plus value digit. So this 9 changes to 9 only. And this 7, just write down 7 only. So 792 rounded up to the nearest 10 will be 7. This 9, 9 only. And this 2 changes to 0. So this is 790. Now when we rounded up this number 792 to the nearest 100. We have to uh, we have to look at the tens place value digit. Your tens place uh, tens place value digit is nine, which is more than five. So we have to add one to the hundred hundred place value digit. Your seven hundred ninety five. This seven changes to seven plus one. Seven plus one is eight, and this nine changes to zero, and this five changes to zero. So 795 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 800 and 792 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 790. Now 792 rounded up to the nearest 1000. Here uh, we have to, when we rounded up any number to the nearest 1000, we have to first look at the 100 plus value digit. Here 100 plus value digit is 7. 7 is more than uh, more than 5. So we have to add 1 to the 1000 plus value digit. Here 1000 plus value digit is nothing means that is 0. 0 changes to 0 plus 1 and which is 1. So 792 rounded up to the uh, rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be this 7 um, changes to 0 and this 0 here that is 0 0 7 9 2 1000 plus value digit is 0 so this 0 changes to 1 and this 7 9 and 2 changes to 0 so 792 rounded uh, rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 1000 so 792 rounded up to the nearest 10 is 790 792 rounded up to the nearest 100 will be 800 now 792 rounded up to the nearest 1000 will be 1000 now second bit 235 now we have to round it up this number 235 to the nearest 10 when you round it up any number to the nearest 10 we have to look at the trans, uh, unit plus value digit here unit plus value digit is 5 and 5 is equal to 5 so we have to add 1 to the tens plus value digit here tens plus value digit is 3 So this 3 changes to 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So 235 rounded up to the nearest uh, 10 will be 240. Now when we rounded up any number to the nearest 100. 235 rounded up to the nearest 100. Look at the tens place value digit. Here tens place value digit is 3. 3 is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the 100 plus value digit. Just write down 100 plus value digit as it is. That is 2. And this 3 changes to 0. This 5 changes to 0. So it is 200. Now 235 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 200. Is 200. And now we have to round it up this number 235 to the nearest 1000. Here 100 plus value digit is 2 which is less than 5. So don't add 1 to the... Um, Two hundred thirty-five rounded off to the nearest 
thousand. This will be zero. So two hundred thirty-five rounded off to the nearest thousand is zero. So two hundred thirty-five rounded off to the nearest ten is two hundred forty, and two hundred thirty-five rounded off to the nearest hundred is two hundred. And two hundred thirty-five near rounded up to the nearest hundred is zero. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt, then please write in comment section, and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching, and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.